This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. Today we are slinging out yet another video review, this time taking a look at an application called Unfed Undead, which is on my springboard right there ready to go. We're just going to give you the brief introduction and say that Unfed Undead, or uh, UFUD, I just realized is a possible abbreviation for that, though we're probably not going to use that, so never mind. The application is available for 99 cents in the App Store and is sort of a reverse zombie survival game. Instead of playing as humans trying to escape uh, brain-crazed zombies, you are instead the brain crazed zombies trying to capture humans, which is a unique twist and something that's uh, very much appreciated considering the wave of zombie games that we've seen recently. So with all that in mind, we're just going to go ahead and boot this up and kind of show you uh, how it all works. Of course, I do have the sound low, the, uh, excuse me, no, I do not. I do have the sound off. I uh, can find sound and download anyway. Well, I do have the sound off just because it's slightly easier to hear me, though there is, of course, a soundtrack included. We're going to pop into the settings really quick. Just to kind of show you how this works, you've got blood mode, uh, which is currently on, of course. Visit the perk store, which we'll talk more about in just a second. Some Facebook stuff, so if you'd like to share some of your gameplay moments, you can do that as well, as well as in a, an entire roster of uh, developer contact notes. So all of that is included right there. Good stuff. Now let's go ahead and jump straight into the game. The game does come with single player and multiplayer, though we are, of course, just going to do the single player for now. Um, we'll talk more about multiplayer in just a second, but without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and boot this up. This is a fresh install, so the rest of the levels have not yet been unlocked, but we do think we can give you a fairly good idea of how this works using Schools Out, um, and it's definitely uh, fun enough. So let's go ahead and sort of show you how this works. As the uh, guide here is demonstrating, you pull down to uh, release a zombie arm. The idea is that you're in a room full of people, um, or you're outside of a room full of people, and the room is full of people, obviously. Here we have a classroom, and the idea is that you're going to swing an arm out by using this sort of uh, dragging motion to try to snare children. So for instance, if I do like that, I will hopefully snag some kids. So obviously that's the idea here, is to uh, murder and massacre kids in order to eat their brains. This is also very hard to do uh, via video review, so I apologize for my lackluster gaming skills at the moment. It's kind of hard to do this through a camera. Um, but that is the basic game mechanics. So you've got zombies on the outside of a room, and then they latch inward to sort of grab kids, um, which of course you gain points for, gain time bonuses. Um, the more quickly you do this and the fewer times you miss, um, the higher your score is, and the higher your score is, the more stars that you get. You get more stars, you unlock more content and more levels, etc., etc. Um, and the game progresses, which is actually quite nice, but this is the basic game mechanic, and we have to admit, it's pretty fun. This is uh, something that we didn't really expect, uh, actually, to be quite as entertaining, but to be honest, it really is. Mostly because there's a very addictive nature that's included here, and uh, you, you feel sort of bad when you don't happen to actually be good at snagging the uh, the enemies included. Also, if you'll notice, the developers done, have done quite a bit to increase the gameplay value, in the sense of each level comes with its own boss unit, which I've just murdered there. Uh, that was the teacher. Um, of course, each various uh, level comes with its own style of human that you're killing. Um, <laughs> which sounds weird, uh, or devouring, uh, consuming uh, lightly, I guess we could say. In this instance, it happens to be children because we are in a classroom, and of course I am failing miserably at grabbing them. There we go. So as soon as you complete that, you've gotten rid of all of the base units as well as the boss unit, you start round two, and life goes on until you get a uh, better high score than you've gotten previously. Of course, like we mentioned, scores equal stars, etc., etc. I do have this, which I'm going to hit very quickly. That is Super Zombie. Which turns your zombies into uber zombies for just a little while, uh, making them quicker, better, faster, harder, stronger, all of that stuff. We're going to go ahead and just try to grab as many kids as possible. So that was an example of a perk, the super zombie, uber zombie, that I just used there. The idea being that uh, if you use that, a, a perk, it enhances your gameplay in some way. You can purchase perks via the perk store, which is something that we're going to actually go to right now. So we're going to do that, go quit, and then back. And uh, interesting design. We're just going to mention very quickly. Uh, whoops! I think I hit the. Excuse me. I think I hit the level again. We're going to talk about design for just a second because the game itself, the gameplay looks great. We do like the actual gameplay elements. We think they work quite well. Um, we do have a few complaints with the main menu. We feel like this could use a font uh, redesign as well as maybe some other few tweaks uh, just to make it look a little bit more professional, just to add some polish. But then again, we're graphic designers, so that's kind of what we tend to notice. Um, furthermore, uh, what am I doing? No, sorry guys, I keep uh, accidentally tapping the same thing, expecting different results makes me crazy. Okay, we're going to go settings this time. Again, small design note, we do wish the perk store was actually available on the main menu rather than within the settings. 
Furthermore, we do kind of wish the perk store looked a little bit better. It's just your sort of basic tab navigational list, um, which should load in just a second. Um, but obviously you can buy a, a variety of different things. You've got max hunger perk, reduced penalty, quick recover, super Z, uh, extra time perk, restriction removal, blood mode is included with when you, when you buy the app for 99 cents, you get, I think five different perks included. Uh, these are the ones that have currently gotten engaged. So that's quite a nice, uh, nice bonus. You also get a few continues if you like them. Um, so, you know, all of these go a long way towards fleshing out the gameplay. They're a little bit more expensive than we might like. You will have to pay in app purchase wise for these perks. But if you're way into the game, it does add a lot of content and it does add a lot of fun. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that is pretty much what we have to say about Unfed Undead. We are going to mention that the game concept itself is wickedly fun, and we very much enjoyed being on the flip side of the zombie survival genre, being a zombie instead of a human. That is quite entertaining. It does come with multiplayer, of course. Um, which uh, adds a lot to the gameplay. Uh, furthermore, the single player offers a ton of content for what you're going to pay, which is 99 cents. So with all of that in mind, you know, uh, how do we feel about Unfed Undead? At the end of the day, we feel it's a very good game, and it's easily worth the uh, 99 cents that you'll shell out, including the additional perks if you wanted to buy just a few. With $5 solid, you could easily flesh out the gameplay to be wickedly fun. And of course, like we mentioned, you're going to get a mountain of content within the app especially within the single player, you can see all of these various levels, of course, all of which have their own unique twist. So at the end of the day, that means we're going to give Unfed Undead a 4 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com, as well as our solid recommendation if you're either looking for a new zombie game, or perhaps just a new arcade game to play around with. So at this point, that's all we have to say, so I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but we will see you guys later. Bye.